Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This morning we are headed to a thrift store that I have not been to in probably a year, maybe a little longer. I don't frequent it because they choose their own pricing. It's not like a standard shirts are $5. They definitely know their brands. You know, you get lucky sometimes and find brands they don't know. And they do have two colors of the week usually. One is 30% off, one is 50 but the main issue is it's cash only, and it's not often that I have cash. So my daughter just had a birthday, and so she got cash, and we did a trade, and she know like, we have it written down. She knows I always just pay with my card for her. So she agreed to let me have her cash so I could run to this store and see if we can find any treasure. So I don't know how much filming I can do, but we're going to try. We're going to see. I only have a limited amount of money, so it's always stressful because you have to add up everything as you go. But my hope is to find maybe five pieces that are going to bring us some money. See you there. All right, we're here, super quick drive. The other thing I forgot to mention that drives me crazy about this thrift store is they use staples and there have been so many times I have found great pieces but they have stapled it through the fabric instead of a tag or the like the, the thicker seams and the garments are not usable. So I'm hoping I don't find that today. This is the store where I often find really great shoes. So I'm gonna head to the shoes first. All right, I'm really excited now that I'm here because who doesn't love a good treasure hunt? And I earned this trip because I hit my next $500 in sales thanks to the things that went out this morning. So let's go. I do put things in my cart and then check comps when I have a couple of things. Look how they always put this staple here. Sometimes it destroys the shoe. Thankfully, they got the back thing through the seam, but I told you they like to destroy items. These ended up not coming home with me, just too plain of a style. They always have quite the selection of shoes and the pricing, they're always the weirdest amounts. It's not like even numbers, but I did look up quite a few. This store is great for learning new brands, checking comps, it's never too crazy, crowded. These were a really fun pair of kids. I think they were Justin Boots, Ariat, I don't know, but they were way too expensive. But a lot of times they're not. I buy my kids a lot of shoes here. Like you can find a lot of kids shoes for two to three dollars especially better when they're half off, but then they do price them up. I checked these out. I was hoping they were natives. They were Skechers. $11 was not a good price for reselling. We did scoop those up and we're just going to look through the rest of the shoes. Look how many staples. This is what I was talking about. Like why? That is excessive and they do ruin so many pieces of clothing, but just showing you some pricing here. Went over to women's jeans. I did end up grabbing these free people. I looked up comps on probably 20 pairs of jeans. Again, it was great because I did learn a couple of new brands that had the price been better, I would have taken them home. They do always have a huge selection, but they're never too shoved in. I hate shopping at stores where there's just way too much inventory out. The only problem with this store is the whole cash only thing because I never have cash and the staples. Let's see. Oh, Prana jeans. They were just too small of a size. If you find Prana in sizes 10 and above, I do find those to be good pickups. Lots of American Eagle. I did check these out and comps were not so great. Big Star. I think they kind of used to be a good pickup. Definitely not that style. CQY. Comps would have been okay, but I think those were damaged. So they did go back. I ended up leaving behind a lily. You guys know that was hard for me. Unfortunately, the comps just were not there. I loved the print. I ended up putting this Millie dress back even at half off. So I think it would have been like eight or nine dollars. Uh, it was not gonna be worth it. I think there was also some damage. They do have a lot of higher end brands. So this store is a type where you've gotta look through everything because you'll find one thing. And when there's one thing, you know there's going to be more. But I enjoyed looking up brands learning some new things. There was a few that I wish they had been the, the color of the week because you'll see a lot of these dresses are priced 11, 16, some are less. Sometimes I think the people in the back just pick whatever they feel like because they'll have a Walmart dress marked at 16 and then a high-end dress at 494. Jay McLaughlin, I did look this one up. Uh, there was some damage. This Derek Lamb dress was really great materials, so I did look it up, but again, 
Just because it's a higher end or designer item does not mean the comps are going to be there. When I'm not at the bins, I have to watch my cost of goods. This free people dress, I was on the fence. Some comps were okay, but it just wasn't in great enough condition. Patagonia for $14 was a no for that style. So we looked through every single dress. I really prioritized looking in the sections because I was short on time that were going to bring me the most return. Moving over to hard goods. How cute is this Disney Parks Finding Nemo? Unfortunately, like the main story of the store, comps just weren't there. Fun fact, I played the French horn all through middle school, high school, and college. Then became the drum major, played mellophone in the marching band. That was not worth anything. If you see any trinkets that I missed or that you would have picked up, definitely let me know. It is a category I'm not super versed in. I will look some things up, but I'm sure I miss things all the time. And then I headed to the men's Lululemon. They know Lululemon, so it is all priced up. These were $24. And had they been Michael size, I actually might have paid that because to me that's a Poshmark price. They were not... I think they were actually women's in the men's section. They had a ton of amazing purses. I made a friend uh, who was also hunting purses to resell, but the color of the week just needed to change. She said most of the current color had already been picked through, but I mean, Rebecca, Rebecca Minkoff for less than $20 would not be terrible for personal use. I did look up a lot of brands I'd never heard of if they were real leather. $16. I think this one ended up being Altered State. I spent a lot of time researching this Patricia Nash. Comps would have been decent if it had been in better condition, but it really, for $11, it was just too worn. This Dooney and Burke, I think they wanted $50 for. It was pretty, but not that pretty. Yeah, lots of choices. They do try to color coordinate them. Over to the women's Lululemon, $18 is kind of what they price all of their Lulu leggings, which again, not terrible if it's something you want personally. Color of the week, even $9 would have been too much. Red was not the color of the week, but regular, no brands, they want between $3 and $5. Don't worry, I did fix that. I decided to look through the long sleeves and sweaters. I found one for personal use, lots of J. Jill, lots of brands that I would have picked up if they were much lower prices or if I'd been at the bins, but sometimes it's nice to sort through things on a rack and not have the stress of the Goodwill outlet. The music in the store, I mentioned it later, was a phenomenal. I could have spent all day here. My back wasn't hurting. It was great. This brand, Hobbs, this is a brand from the UK. $315, I think that said, retail price. I almost picked these. There was two of them, but it just ended up, that one was sold at Bloomingdale's, $250. There were comps, but for that high of a pay up, I just decided to take the smart way and not, this was very hard for me. It would only have been $9. I did leave a lily behind. We already have that dress in that size and I was proud of myself. All right, that was quite successful. I think I was in there just about three hours. I needed like five more. I forgot just how big that place is. And um, I love to shop there because it, the racks are a perfect height and, and nothing is jam packed. So they do a really good job with how the stores run and organization. I mean, all the sizes are where they're supposed to be. So I had to put a lot of stuff back just due to prices. Uh, if, if things had been the color of the week, I might've picked them up, but you guys, I will, sh uh, will have seen some of the things I passed on and whatnot. So I did forget to mention the other reason I am uh, thrifting a little bit more and not doing the bins is we are going to Hawaii in like seven weeks. I know I've been talking about it for months and we just need a few more things. So I was able to find Michael a couple dress shirts and uh, something for me, like a shirt for me. So I am trying out some random thrift stores knowing I'm going to pay up a little bit, but I did buy some items to resell, which we will do a haul and you know the drill that's going to make what I got for us free. And especially when I'm buying stuff for myself and my kids, I try to buy things that I can then flip later on. Um, like I know the one shirt I bought, it's not something I will usually wear. I bought it to wear out to dinner one night and I will definitely be selling it afterwards. So I think it was very successful. It's nice to be in other places. I will have had to mute the music because the music was so loud, but it was so good. You guys, it was like music from when I was in high school. Like we were rocking to some destiny's child and usher and then new age Taylor Swift would play. I mean, 
I don't know where they get their song list, but it was fantastic. So unfortunately you can't hear it, but all right, I'm in a rush now because I've got to get the kids from school and it's Wednesday. So it's early day. So I had to cut my time an hour short, but I will see you for the haul. All right, it's time for the haul. I had to change my shirt. It's one of those days in Florida where it was really cold this morning. By my standards, that's like 50 degrees. And it was- It wasn't 80. even that cold today, this morning. Well, it felt like it. <laughs> so I had on jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt. And by the time I got the kids from school, it was like 85. So, yeah, whew, That's true. I have 13 items. I went to a community thrift today. And yes. I was telling them I haven't been there in a while. Number one- I know where she went, but I don't know what she bought. It's cash only, which is annoying. They do have an ATM machine there, but I don't carry a debit card. So I finally had some cash, but then it's so stressful because the whole time I'm like adding up in my head how much I spent to make sure you don't get up to the register and not she have enough. practice math. Yes. So I put a lot back. That store I do like because as you have seen, they have a lot of good brands, like a lot of J. Jill, like a lot of stuff that I would have picked up if the price had been right. And I also checked a lot of comps on some stuff you didn't even see. So, and they actually have service in there, unlike the bins. So, all right, we are starting. You can have that. It's daytime. Kids are home. Yeah, snack they're time. They're asking for snacks. Yes. Are they right. awake? They're hungry. Yes. Right? Um, I have never picked up this before, but I'm pretty sure I heard my friend Kathy over at Ginger Marvin talk about this brand called Wolky. It makes me think of a Wookie. A Wookie? I thought <laughs> yeah. you were to say Wokey. I was like, oh, no. what is this? Wolky. W-O-L-K-Y. Um, they're comfort shoes. They look like the Allegria, Allegria, Dansko, you know, that type of yes. comfort shoe. $4.94. I did check comps. I let, ended up leaving those black dance goes behind. Comps were not super great. Five bucks for these. I thought that was just to see. I've never picked them up. I was excited to find these. You guys are going to see some of our personal use items. My whole point of going there today, they have a wonderful men's selection. I didn't even get through half of it. They know their brands. They had some really nice Lululemon shorts, but they were $25, two pairs in men. So they do price up brands, but you can find stuff they miss as I have one piece. But I was going looking for him a shirt to wear to the wedding we're going to in Hawaii because should we tell them why? Because <laughs> there's a wedding? Well, yeah, because I already bought him one and he is like not oh. okay with how much it costs. I bought him a shirt, Ridiculous. a Tommy Bahama shirt. We need a certain color so that we all coordinate. My girls are the flower girls. You want a certain color. Yes. Not and me. I have this beautiful dress. If you guys remember, I've been waiting and waiting. I got it in that 400 pound bulk order, like a $700 dress that has palm trees all over it. I'm so excited. So I didn't, I paid like $2 for that dress. Did you even look through my closet to see what I have? No. Oh boy. I know you don't have that color. Anyway, we went to Tommy Bahama. We bought him a shirt and he's like having like anxiety over how much we spent on that shirt. Just because we don't spend that kind of money Going on back. clothes. I know. So we had 30 it. or 60 days or something to return it. So I said, okay, here's the deal. We have one. I will hunt all these thrift stores, so that's why you're going to see today's video. She's done it to me before. Remember that pair of jeans I took back when you were sleeping? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those were, we, those were a lot of money. We needed them for an event. We didn't yeah. need them, but he couldn't do it. He literally physically could not wear something that expensive. That's unless I get it for cheap. So anyway, you are going to see, I'm trying to film a lot of videos before Hawaii because I will need to put out four videos while we're gone. So I am using it to my advantage and we are going to go to a couple more thrift stores because I am trying to pick up a couple more outfits. I don't know. For me, vacation means like new things. You know, I want us to kind of coordinate while my kids still don't mind. And do we, we mean need sleeping stuff? in and eating a lot of food? Yeah. So we don't need the things, That's but <laughs> anyway, okay. Converse, $4.94. So they do have some good prices on things. You know, these, I'm going to make these look perfect. These are so cute. These are Molly's current size. My daughters love to wear Converse. Her feet are that big now. Her feet are this big. That's hard to believe. The jump, like she skipped size youth. 13 we went from 12s like to toddler ones. to ones and yeah these just look so huge they look big she is still in like a size five six so but these will match a lot of her stuff so but for there was a half off color of the week oh so 4 dollars on that goodwill that pulls them all <laughs> yeah they do that do they do that at your I've stores? Witnessed it. they literally yeah, go through and they pull all the I'm colors i'm not making something up i yeah. watched workers with racks full of the color of the week i'm like what are you doing they're just taking it off yeah no, this store did not. Insane. So this shirt I got you, $8.98, half off. And this is probably the shirt he's going to wear to the wedding. Yeah, that's my kind of shirt. And it's a surfer brand, right? RVCA? 
Yeah, rib cut. I don't know if you say it or spell it or but whatever. You but you buy yes. it on like, Sun kind of stuff. So yeah. I really Four like bucks. it. That's a great deal. Right? And it's like brand new. Honestly, I don't know that it was ever worn. I mean, you can. there's not a single wrinkle. I love how it's darker inside. So, mm -hmm. and it's a slim. So it'll look nice. I'm slim. You are. All right. So you got to try that on. I'll set that over right. there. Yep. This is my try on side. If it doesn't work, I will just sell it. This I got you to wear another time. Um, I, it's Cuba Vera, which you have a couple of these shirts, mm -hmm. but it's 100% linen. It was two dollars and ninety two cents. Even better. See, I did this. It did good. To, you guys half look. He's happy off. that I bought him things for once. Well, because we're, so, we're at yeah. six dollars for two shirts. 100% like, linen. I, I really like the little details. Uh, this will look nice. We're gonna go to a luau. We're gonna do all kind of fun things. What thing. clothes should cost? Yeah. And this, oh, if you don't know, I don't know if I ever told, I grew up on Jimmy Buffett. I am a huge Jimmy Buffett fan. So sad that he passed away recently. And so Margaritaville, like he took me, uh, me there on our most recent anniversary. Actually, no, it was the year before. Oh my gosh, time flies. So anyway, I found this Margaritaville shirt, $4.94, mind okay. you. Mm -hmm. In your size. And it's one of those shirts that you can roll, it's purposely to roll up, you know, and mm -hmm. make it three quarter length. Mm -hmm. And my favorite okay my Jack daughter it's a, it, no it's cotton it's cotton my daughter's name is delaney and part of the reason i love the name delaney is because jimmy buffett has a song like i say my daughter i think so <laughs> our daughter is delaney oh, yeah. jimmy buffett's one of his daughters is named delaney delaney and savannah and he has a song called delaney talks to statues and i loved that song as a little kid and so we play it for molly we play good golly miss molly she wasn't named after that song but she loves it my son Keegan, we just liked the name. But anyway, my favorite Jimmy Buffett song is One Particular Harbor, and this is the lyrics. So, I love it. It just is super special, and I think it'll be fun to wear it in Hawaii. This shirt was probably a lot of money. expensive. Yeah, it has Margaritaville embroidered down here. Yeah, it would have been expensive. Yep. So I wouldn't have bought it new. Three shirts I got you for what? $3? $3 and... So up to nine total for three shirts. Yeah. Is that better? Did I do good? I can accept okay. three shirts for okay. $9. So my whole purpose of going today for the win, and guess what, babe? I'm going to make them free. Okay. That's the goal. Not yet, though, because I bought things to sell. I also bought myself a Tommy Bahama, like a 100% linen, really cute little tunic type shirt. But this is the kind of shirt I will wear this on vacation one night, and then I'll come home and sell it. And I paid $11 and a half. So 11 divided by two. 550. 550. Yeah. Not too shabby. Maybe we can wear our linen shirts together. And look, because that has a little green in it. It does. And then the. Yeah. You mean with the green shirt you got me? No, the linen one. Yeah, oh, the green one. Yeah. yeah. I was, I was going to say the uh, Margaritaville one has like blue embroidery oh, right. on the buttons that almost looks like the same color. All right. Something to sell. That's what you're here for, right? Um, they love that stuff too. <laughs> this is Soma, which is a really great pajama brand. It is new with the tags. Size medium. It was sixteen sixteen for both pieces, so eight dollars oh, and complete. eight cents, right? Eight mm -hmm. oh eight. Mm -hmm. They the prices are, are so weird. Uh, the now I wouldn't have said this was a Christmas pajama, but the bottoms have the. It says Merry Mistletoe Navy. Okay. So they consider them Christmas, but they feel really nice. And I'm not going to keep them, even though I like them because they're not joggers Cuff. at the bottom. I can't sleep with those things. So this is to sell, but this right here, babe. Covers that. Covers all your shirts. Awesome. Awesome. I love being a reseller. <laughs> oh, and I, I those, love me. I had those walkie shoes too. So yeah, because something else I got, did get for me, $8.98 divided by two. I feel like it might be a little chilly in the evenings. Mm -hmm. it's, I think it's supposed to be in the seven, low 70s, which that is chilly for a Florida girl, in the evenings and like the 80s in the daytime. There's not much swing between the days and the nights but when we're going. Uh, so, yeah. Right, this is just Vineyard Vines, which I really like Vineyard Vines. And so I need to try it on, of course. To sell, this was a oh. wonderful find. This is a Lily Pulitzer. I told myself I wasn't gonna pick up any more bikini separates, but Lily is an exception to that rule, especially when it's a size 16, and I own a lot of Lily Swim, and I can tell that this has not seen much wear, just based on these tags. The, Does it rub off or something easily? Yeah, 
uh, it's like a plastic tag. Like chlorine and all that starts to rub it. Makes sense. But these are in excellent condition. Like I don't see any pilling, like so no sitting on the edge of a pool or boats and stuff. So these are in great shape. They were $3.93. So there are things that they don't price up, which is you have to have time. I was there for three hours. I needed to be there for like eight. And But I did a lot of comps for a lot of stuff back last minute. These free people jeans, I did pay the $8.98. Nice waistband. Yeah, this is my kind of waistband. Yeah. Uh, you guys will have already seen the comps. There's no belt loops. They're called pull-on pants. Is that a spot? Bell bottoms? Maybe not. I don't know. Um, but the comps are around $35. So, and I even sort, I wasn't sure I was on the fence because $9 is a pay up, but I did sort by this size. And then I looked at when it was most recently shared and make sure it wasn't like April, which would have been last year. And they are selling right now. So mm -hmm. I worth it. Just a little pair of Capizio, which is an expensive, more expensive dance brand. So these were $1.91 divided by two. So these are like a dollar. So these are for my daughter. Mm -hmm. This was one that they missed. I looked through so many dresses. I did put a couple back that I, I would like to go back and if they have a different color of the week. I mean, I don't know when they change it, but this is La Femme, which is a really good formal wear brand. This was only $3.93. Now it is, you already, this is only a size zero. Not the best, but I've never sold this brand. And it's a cute little dress. Like a cocktail dress? Yes. Maybe? Prom season is upon us soon, but this, I think this is more of a homecoming dress. I don't know. Times have changed y'all. People are not wearing I say, to dance is what I school should not wear that, but they do. And so, um, I do, there's like a, some spots with some surface stuff that I need to just probably wipe off because there's no deodorant marks. So hmm. anyway, I mean, I have four dollars into it. Even if it only sells for like 25, it's still a win. Anyway, this is the brand Hatley. I've talked about this. Y'all know I love to sell kids clothes. It was $2.92, but this is, of course, a dress to come with us to Hawaii for my middle. Super cute. So yeah. a lot of personal use items and items to sell. All right. That's the game. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys. See you in the next Bye. one. Bye.